morning. Uh, today I'm in the Sparrow Mountains and it's uh, going to be a pretty cool looking day. Blue skies, uh, sun's just starting to come up. Really cold, about minus five, minus six, and there's a bit of snow up on top. So um, I'm going to walk up through the, the forest, my Damla Forest, and we'll be heading for the top of Mulcamore Mountain, which is about 500. And fifty meters. There's a lovely bit of old beech forest. Uh, love, I love beech forest. Um, I think the trees are amazing looking. And, uh, it's, it's quite small, this bit. And it's sort of around by pine forest, and that's what will be slogging up through. Um, but this, this is just really cool. Um, nice, nice start to the lot. So we have these fresh prints in the snow and um, there's no there's no human footprints so I wouldn't think it's a dog and they must have been done overnight and there's quite a few over here as well so I'm not sure if it was a fox or what but interesting. One of the cool things about my Damla Forest is it's a system of um, bird hoppers. So they're these blue barrels and they're all through the forest. And they're just full of seed. And obviously that's hopefully going to encourage uh, a lot more bird life and wildlife for the forest. Uh, a really cool idea. Up out of the forest now, uh, well, sort of along the sides, but sort of opening out a wee bit and uh, into the sunshine. And man, there's hardly a cloud in the sky, and everything's so beautiful looking with the sunshine and off the snow. And it bodes well for uh, up in the mountain itself.
This is Eagle's Rock and uh, it's a really, it's probably the most impressive part of this mountain, a lot more. And uh, there it is up there. So big cliff face. Uh, it goes all the way around. And we'll walk around the base of that and then climb it over the top. I can see um, there's a bit of snow build up at the top there. It's quite interesting, even a drift. And there's a hare, I see a mountain hare. <laughs> Um, just up on the top, there's no way I'll see it in this, but uh, I'll probably see the tracks up there. But uh, nice and cool stuff. This is uh, just below the cliffs, and pretty impressive. You can see all the big blocks of scree that have come down. This place is usually full of, full of rabbits. Uh, when I the ground isn't frozen and I can eat something, but really, really cool. Um, Through, there's a gully there, and up to that gully, and then up along the top. And there's much more. There with the, with the comms mast on it. Up that wee gully. There's a wee scramble up there, and there's a wee bit of height now, so you can, you can get a sense of that. And that's over to Otmore and uh, Mulligini in this plan as well. And I see a bit of snow, not too much, just uh, maybe a few inches, but um, you can see where the wind's blowing it in the drifts. It'll be nice to see what's what's on up towards the top of the mountain. And if you look around, you can see that's over towards Sleep Canyon and the Loch Ness Basin. And uh, you can see there's there's no snow there. Absolutely froze solid. Um, the sun's not making any tint at all, I don't think. Um, the snow's going under. It's, it's, I don't know, about foot drifts maybe. And, uh, sitting maybe four or five inches deep here, walking through it. So, not too difficult. Not too difficult. Um, this is the last day of it. Tomorrow is Sunday. And the milder weather is then, so it's probably been frozen up here for about a week. And uh, it looks pretty good.
Tiny little wee curve round um, over to the summit. And you can see we're up above the forest. And really fantastic. It's a really good mountain for for looking out over the rest of the barrens and really absolute fantastic views out, out across the valley and uh, all the way and in the distance I can see the Mourne Mountains so um, when we get to the top I can probably well, I think I actually can well I can yep I can see uh, the mountains of Donegal in the distance this way so the, the barrens are right in the middle of um, Northern Ireland so Literally, you can see from one side of Ireland to the other, which is pretty, pretty cool. summit and it's a pretty unremarkable summit um, it has probably the, the biggest feature is this comms mast and may not be too nice a thing but it has a road which I'll be following back down so I'm not complaining about that um, and I can see Antrim Hills stretching all the way up to the north of Northern Ireland see the Belfast Hills and I can see across Loch Ney to the Moor Mountains and then back around to the more immediate Sperrins and in the distance I can see Donegal very clearly, the mountains of Donegal uh, up north within the Shown and I can see Mucky Shenarigal um, standing out white with the snow so I'll have a cup of tea here, I think, and some to eat, and probably head down the road then. Down and you can see, you can see the compacted footsteps are still here, and the wind has scarred everything else off the road. I'm following this gully down um, off the road and I was up here before I think last earlier well yeah last winter 
and there's a nice waterfall down here and it was well frozen so I'm hoping it's the same again today so I'll, I'll work my way down and we'll have a look at the waterfall That's me down, uh, follow the gully down, waterfall is pretty cool, I stopped, uh, starting to melt but so maybe not as impressive as, as, impressive as it could have been. Um, let's walk more up there, so we sort of walked up along there and uh, dropped down and I'm now on the, the B road that runs up through the mountains and uh, it's pretty packed with snow, there's a few, few cars and vans braving it, but uh, pretty quiet. So that's me on the way down. And then, uh, another lovely bit of beechwood. It's not far from the car park. And it's really, really quiet. And uh, the evening light is, is just throwing some fantastic shadows from the trees. And there's a wee river here as well. So, just chilling here a wee bit before we head back to the car.